Hello and welcome to episode 51 of series 1 of Master League Story Mode. The hangovers have just about faded away. Tim Sherwood and his players and me have recovered from the jubilation, from the celebrations of our Premier League victory. Our, uh, I ju- uh, um, still, still lost for words. Two seasons Tim Sherwood's been in charge. His two season plan was to win the league and he was able to execute that plan with just such style and aggression and passion. And we find ourselves now with a game still to go, but we've won the league. So we're not going to play this because we've got bigger fish to fry. The next season is but three months away. And to stay on track for our aim, which was to win the Champions League in our third season, we are going to need to strengthen. Absolutely. We've not long now until PES 2017 is released, which will be the start of Series 2 of Master League Story Mode with a new manager, with a new plot. That's going to be exciting. Got to be stay tuned to that. But in the next month or just under a month now, we need to get this next season out of the way. So what I'm probably going to do is condense the episodes even more, get more games in. It might only be goal highlights, but focus massively on our Champions League campaign, which is the big aim. So, uh, but anyway, we need to start strengthening for that. So we're going to skip this game because we need to get straight into it. So we're going to skip the final game. We've done our business. Job done. And we win the last game, 1-0. Scrapping a victory there. And this is the final league position. Well, what a season it's been. We finished seven points clear of the nearest rival, Manchester City. Arsenal also finishing on 85, as are Man United. Below us it was close, but we streaked ahead. And you've got to put that down to that goal. That goal scored. 88 goals. Goal difference of 56. Miles ahead of anyone else. And not only did we only lose four games, which puts us, you know, similar to Arsenal and Man United, but it was our ability to nick a late winner and miss out on some of those draws that would have, you know, pulled us back a little bit. That's what did it for us, really. And you've got to put that down to Tim Sherwood's management. Oh, well, we've had... Ah, that's good stuff. So we won the Premier League, of course. Tim Sherwood, Barclays Premier League best manager. I mean, that's obvious. But what a season he's had. Uh, We've been offered the Crystal Palace job. I'm going to leave that. As kind an offer as that is. We're going to have to change the scout report. I just completely forgot about that. So what have we had in? These players aren't going to be good enough. I think we are. You know, Emi Buendia, he could win us a Champions League. He absolutely could. But um, we're going to have a little look. I think in Europe for another attacking midfielder. You know, we we could we could have some real class there. So we'll try and get that done early. See what we can bring in. Um, any negotiations for us to look at here? Mara Zarati. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to let him go. Three million. Look, we're already at eight 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 point eight million. We're going to have some serious money to spend. So before we start cracking on, let's just see if there are any players in our squad that we could potentially transfer list. Anyone that we're not particularly bothered about having in for next season. Let's take a look. Nathan Redmond is our top rated player. He's been great this season. Carly, we definitely want to keep him. Oli Inka. Now, he's an odd one. His finishing's pretty low. He's strong. He's played well when he's coming. He's only 22, so he's got time to improve. He's only worth 3.5 minutes. There's almost not much point in transfer listing him. But we'll put him on there anyway, because it's not ever really a problem to transfer list players. They don't get annoyed. Which is uh, hopefully something that will change in the next Master League. I find that hard to believe. So before we get any further, let's take a look at our stats for the for the year. I think that would be an interesting thing to do. So just in the league, let's have a little scan down. Who was our best performing player? Marizarati at 6.7 overall rating. We can, I think that's a bit of an anomaly. But our player of the season, and that's perhaps unsurprising, is Zakaria Bakali at 6.2 average rating for the year. 37 games played. He's played more games than anyone else. Only one less than Steele. He's played in almost every single game in the Premier League. 18 goals, 6 assists. Consistently good performer. He has been incredible. He's driven us from the Championship to the Premier League victory. What a player he's been for us. Safir Tyler, Emi Buendia, all above 6, as is Nathan Redmond. They performed really well. How many goals did Ulari get away? He got 18 goals. You know, nowhere near the sort of figures that Jordan Rhodes was scoring for us in the championship. But he was was always there with a good contribution. Him and Bakali 
scoring the same amount of goals. I think that says a lot for Bacali. 18 goals from the wing. is Ronaldo-esque. Incredible performance. Nathan Redman chipping in with 12 as well. Pretty impressive. Emi Wendia, 7 goals, 5 assists. You know, he's he, he's scored some great goals. He's not maybe a great goal scorer, but he's definitely a scorer of great goals. He's been a crowd favourite. I'm thinking, though, if we've got the potential to bring in a really, really high quality attacking midfielder, then now is maybe the time. Ah, uh, the Di Zachariah Dynamite Bacali. Now, that is a good nickname. I'm a big fan of that. It's not as good as Mighty Mouse. Imagine if that had popped up, but Dynamite, I like. Dynamite! Nine million in the bank. So, let's go into the next season. I think we will stay the Blackburn manager. I've just got a hunch that it's probably worth it. Wow, so Norwich, Stoke and Cardiff relegated. We'll see if there's anything we can pick up from Stoke because that is one of our linked teams. As is Norwich City, actually. Might be able to bring in some talent from them. We'll have a little look. 31 million we've got to play with. 23 million budget. And we've brought in Moreno. Yeah, of course, I forgot about him. Another free transfer striker. So we want to raid these now championship teams. Norwich City, do they have any players? What's the keeper like? John Ruddy, 77 overall rated, he's 31 years old. He's a little bit better than Steele. Never a million might be too much for us. Give it a go. Maybe we should bring him, I mean, loan transfers aren't really a problem for us now because we've only got one season left. So bringing in a striker on loan, I mean a keeper on loan would be a good bit of business. Stoke were, oh there they are. Stoke City. Oh, Jagov. From Stoke. How much is he going to cost us? 11 million. He'd be interesting. I like him. Be a good bit of a challenge to uh, Emi Buendia. It's probably worth another just quick surf through the uh, linked teams. Aston Villa. Anyone in there? Jordan Ayew. Good player. Martinez, Amavi, no. Tottenham, anyone? Maurice, we couldn't sign him even if we wanted you. Tim De Jong, no. Coelho? How much do you think you'd cost us? 10 million. Let's see if we can bring him in on loan. A loan keeper would be a, a good solution. QPR. Using the Les Ferdinand link. Ooh, Robinson, left back. Pretty decent. 8 million. I wonder how much you would cost. Got Traore, but an 80 rated overall left back from QPR. He looks signable. He'd be pretty decent. Not a great passer. I don't know how he's got those stats. He's obviously quick. He's got good ball winning. I think he would be uh, definitely a step up from Traore. But he was great last season, so, um, you know. So there's a few speculative ones at the beginning. Okay. Ooh, loan transfer for Coelho. That would be nice. Okay, so Olsen. Uh, we can let him go to Barcelona. It's probably it's not the good Barcelona, but we'll let him go. He's not really got that much. Buendia, obviously you're staying. We're not letting him go for love nor money. Henley's still progressing well. 23 years old. He's a youth prospect. We're ending that. John Ruddy, the keeper. Would have been a good signing, but that's not happened. Might have another look at him. Jagrev from uh, Stoke City. It could be too expensive, really, for a 27-year-old, but we don't need longevity now. We just need a really good quality attacking midfielder to drive this team forward. Now, Coelho on loan from uh, from Tottenham for a year. I've had a look. Actually, Coelho is a fake name. It is Fabio, a keeper from Cruzeiro, the Brazilian side. I don't like to use players... Don't have their real names. But yeah, I think we're going to go for that. We need a good keeper in. He's a high quality keeper. It means we don't have to waste any scout time on him. We know him. we know his name's Fabio. And uh, he is a real player. He just doesn't have the right name. 1.5 million loan for a season. Gets us off to a great start. 79 overall rated keeper. Happy days. He's only got one season left in him by the looks of it. Okay, let's keep going. We're only four days into the transfer window and already we've made a great signing at goalkeeper. 79 overall rated. It's much better than Jason Steele. However much we love Steele, he's definitely an area we've always been lacking in. Okay, we've had some offers here. Oli Inka, 
we can let go. Scout report is back. That's good. Have a quick look at the uh, the offers first. Hanley, we can't let you go. Traore, you're a backup. Eastwood, okay, we don't need Eastwood anymore. Uh, that 185,000 is going to come in handy, I'm sure. Oli Inca, what are we looking at here? 2.4 million. We'll try and bleed a bit more cash out of that. And then Ndai, uh no, we like Ndai. He's He's been great cover this season. He was a great signing. So let's see what the scout's got to say. Correa from Atletico Madrid. He'd be interesting. Anderson. These aren't the sort of quality we were looking for. Sarabia. And Gattafi. I mean, they're all better than Buendia, absolutely. Um, oh, I don't know whether to risk now sending out another scout. I'd like someone who can finish and pass. Anderson looks the most likely out of those two. And at 7 million, he'd be alright. We'll stick him in the favourites. I don't know what. No, we want a big name player. I think I'm going to change the scouting instructions. This might be a bit of a knee-jerk reaction. I'm going to go with... Um, Now, overall rating seems to end up with some weird players when you do that. Um, player skills. Mm, and we'll go with overall rating. We'll see what we get back. We're looking just in Spain. Hopefully we can get some real quality there. Again, we've just got to wait for the scout now. No players really flashing up. I think we'll try Jagoev again. 2.7 million. They're really... Cheating us here. He's worth 4.1. I know we're not going to play him, so it's pointless having him. But uh, So we will sell him. This is up to 33 million. We can make a big, big signing here. We need the scout to be getting back to us pretty sharpish, though. Don't really have time to be hanging around. Already midway through July. It's getting a little bit close. Hopefully this is the scout now. Scouting report is back. That's good. Let's have something good here. Come on, Tommy. Tommy Johnson, what you got for us? Oh, nice. Okay, now we're now we're cooking with gas. Chalognu, Chalognu, how do you say? It? I don't know. That would be difficult to uh, pronounce, but uh, he's got everything we're looking for. He's a good passer, great finisher. He is deadly from set pieces. He's only twenty-three years old. At the moment, he's playing in Getafe. Uh, I think he's a. Um, where does he play? Somewhere in Germany, anyway. Or Oliver Torres as well. Another great player. Great passer. But uh, Chalonoglu. That's the sort of thing we were looking for. That's a good result. Okay, what are we looking at here? This is going to be interesting. We're not... Ooh, 9 million? Bargain. Absolute bargain. Yeah, I'll take 80% chance. I don't normally like to take the chance, but I will. Okay, good. Okay, looks like we've secured Chalonoglu. 7.9 million. That's an absolute steal. 80 overall rated. I really like him. He's got good ball control. He's lacking in a few areas. He's not the quickest. The power isn't really there. And he's he's not very resilient. His body balance is low. But what he does have is great finishing for attacking midfielder. 83 finishing is huge. And from uh, from dead balls, although you don't get a huge amount of them, he looks really dangerous. So, and I like him anyway in real life. So I'm happy to pay that. That's another signing. 25 million left in the coffers. Um, now, I'm going to switch up the scout report here. Because what I would like... Uh, let's have another look at the team first. This is going to be my last action of this episode. The next episode, uh, I want to hear your opinions. We've got a new attacking midfielder. Emi Buendia is going to play. It's going to be a rotation system. Let's take a quick look at the game plan, though, before we make any decisions. So we're going to have a new keeper, which is good. Steely, man of steel, 71. He's being replaced by uh, Fabio, who's a much better keeper. Emi Buendia being replaced by uh, Chalonglu. Please tell me if I'm getting that right. I think I might be. Uh, he's going to be replaced there. So uh, that improves that position. Glaring positions there are then the, the defence. Uh, maybe a left back. I like Henley. I like Duffy. I don't know if there's any point in changing them. Reese Oxford I like as well. I'm always inclined to to choose an attacking player to try and improve. 
Um, a left back maybe. I might go back in for Robinson from QPR. He looked to be pretty tasty. So, I mean, I'm thinking in terms of first team that Doughty is maybe a weak link here. He is going to be our lowest rated attacking player. Um, he had a decent season, but uh, a lot of people doubted his purchase when it happened. And he never really fulfilled the promise that I hoped he would. So I think a left back and a central midfielder would be uh, two good signings to make. So I think we're going to send the scout out looking for a central midfielder. He's done a pretty good job there on the uh, attacking midfielder. We're going to extend it to Europe. And uh, we'll go with overall rating again. And uh, that's something we can look forward to in the next episode. So. I actually, no. We'll, we'll, give, we'll, we'll have a look at the scout report. See what comes back. We'll wait for that. So here we go. Here's the scout report. Let's see what they've come back with for our first <laughs> Jovino. As tempting as that is, and as much as I love him as an Arsenal fan, it's got to be a no. So that's pretty much all we've got time for for this episode. As you can see, we're starting to build a team, a Champions League winning team. Chalonoglu, an exciting signing, an attacking midfield. We've got a new keeper in Fabio. It's going to be um, a question of whether we can bring in maybe two or three players would be ideal. Maybe a left back, maybe a central midfielder. I want to know what you think we need and uh, I'll see you in a bit.